Let's take a look at how uh, the SAB is exactly going to gauge from the World Cup, considering it's not one of the main sponsors uh, for the World Cup in South Africa. Well, you know, SAB and Castle have, are part of the very social fabric of uh, South Africa. And, you know, as Frank Zappa once said, a musician from the 70s, you can't be a real country without a beer and an air airline. It helps if you have some kind of football team or some nuclear weapons, but at the very least, you must have a beer. And, uh, you know, we've been involved with this bid since the mid-90s. We've been involved in the three bid attempts, and this culminated in the 2010 uh, World Cup. we sponsors of Bafana, we've been founding sponsors of soccer for over 50 years, and as a leading corporate, we've felt that we needed to step up and fully support the World Cup. Mm. How exactly are you stepping up? Um, well, we will be directly investing 170 million in various initiatives. Um, and that's in addition to our sponsorship of Bafana Bafana. Uh, and we're doing that in various ways. We, we're creating castle fiefdoms, kingdoms in 42 townships where we're going to be upgrading infrastructure in a number of licensed taverns. There are hundreds of licensed taverns. We have uh, our marketing campaigns around the superfans and the Bula Boot. And uh, we also have some new innovations, innovations like an aluminium bottle where we will be producing a million commemorative bottles. Uh, we also have speed bars that we're going to be uh, supporting in the fan fests areas. And uh, we have a patented, worldwide patented can where you remove the lid and it becomes a cup. Uh, and obviously we're also going to be stepping up in our responsibility message and drinking and driving. Uh, making sure that we 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 promoting that responsible drinking throughout the tournament. Yeah, well, Kobe, I saw you this grinning away there. You definitely do agree about the beer and the airline. Well, no, I, d I absolutely. I mean, I, I, I know the quote by Frank Zappa. That's why. I've, that's why. I, that's why I'm grinning. I mean, I, I think what what Norman is saying is so important. I mean, Castle Lager, since, which is a South African, it's the mainstay South African breweries top t uh, top product. Um, is part of the social fabric of the South African consumer and it's part of the social fabric in South Africa. We've got a whole bunch of people that are hitting this country that would want to experience South Africa and would want to experience what this country is about. And Casa Lager provides that opportunity and provides the opportunity for, for people to, to taste what it feels like, you know, to, you know, to, to drink a South, African, uh, a South African product and a South African beer. Yeah. You know. Talking about South African beer, etc. Uh, at one stage there was talk of SAB Miller bringing out African traditional beer coming into the market. What's the latest on it? Well, uh, you know, throughout Africa we do have uh, areas of uh, and countries within Africa where we produce traditional beer, mm -hmm. commercially produced traditional beer. Which countries are these? Uh, there are a number of them. Um, you know, Zimbabwe is one, for example. Zambia is another. Uh, where they're still very important products. And, you know, South Africa always was a big, traditionally a big sorghum drinking uh, country. And over the years, uh, given that p cultural background, I mean, that's a natural sort of base in which to, to migrate into clear beer, if you wish. Yeah. Well, that would be a great success story for, uh, for South Africa if uh, uh, the uh, traditional African beer market comes in. Well, you know, you've got to think about the logistics behind this. I mean, what Norman is talking about here, trying to service, you know, the South African consumer and, so in, you know, within the, within the context of the World Cup, you know, we're talking about logistics here. We're talking about trying, to, you know, creating product and it's trying to be creating the branding behind it and everything. You know, at the moment, if you look at, if you look at the brands that are available in South Africa, we firstly uh, experience far more brands than we've ever experienced before in the South African market. South African breweries, obviously, through the acquisitions of many breweries internationally, um, have you know also bring those products into the South African market. So I think there's enough beer, you know, <laughs> in the South African market, you know, and there's enough choice uh, choice out there, you know, as a as a once of tasting experience maybe, but I don't necessarily think you know that could potentially be a South African brewery stop. Um, top initiative here in South Africa. Yeah. You know. Well, Norman, where exactly will we see SAB Miller for the World Cup? Obviously, it's not going to be within the stadiums. Well, um, you know, the official sponsor, beer sponsor of the World Cup is AB InBev with their brand Budweiser. Uh, they will be taking up their pouring rights in the stadiums, but they have declined the opportunity recently to operate in the fan fests. And we were approached by FIFA mm -hmm. to operate in the fan 10 fan fest zones and areas 
and we will be stepping up there uh, with an unbranded uh, lager and light lager beer. Uh, but these brands are well known, two well known South African brands. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we'll be providing refrigerated support. We've already started brewing up. It's a, it's a specialized package that we will be producing for the fan fests. So we're very excited about the total package in terms of uh, our support for the World Cup. Um, you know, our, our ad, Vula Boot, where you see the plane flying over and we're welcoming the people to South Africa, you know, as, as we, on the rating agency, Millwood Brown, independent rating agency, rates that ad among the best ever in South Africa, and it's been well received by uh, South Africans. And so our role in, in building national unity or joining in trying to build national unity and rallying people behind the national team with our super fans campaign is working well. Yeah. And uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of creative activity happening with uh, international visitors yeah, and you uh, can't, throughout that. And you can't really go wrong with beer, airline and sport.